Hey everyone, Cascobi here and welcome back to another quarantine edition of Studio Bits. As you can see I've had a bit of a studio upgrade which is kind of the reason I'm doing this series now and I kind of wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I've put in it and help you guys build your own studio along the way. Now I want to talk to you today about the Laser Cube which is a little device that Wicked Lasers lovingly sent to me a couple of months ago so I've had some time to review it and I wanted to bring you guys my thoughts on it today. Now what this actually is is it's an extremely portable way of creating some really interesting visuals in a kind of DJ environment or even your own studio if you want to make everything just look a little bit funky. But it can be used for a lot more than just performances and I'll show you that in a minute. So Wicked Lasers have actually sent me two different types of Laser Cube. They've sent me a 2 watt laser cube which is the higher end uh, higher power model and they've also sent me a 1 watt laser cube which is a little bit cheaper a little bit smaller but also a little bit less powerful than the main one the only other difference with a 2 watt of course is it's much brighter three times brighter in fact and it's also got a much more accurate color balance than the first one so the actual cube itself looks like this it's a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter metal cube and it's just full of lasers inside, so obviously that caught my attention. So on the back you've got a micro USB type B port to feed all of the data into it from either your phone or your PC. You've got a little key on the back of it to stop it from turning on if you don't want it, as well as two little indicator LEDs. So you've also got another kind of security wire coming out the back here which needs to be plugged in for the laser to turn on. It's also got a charger port on the back of it if you want to leave it plugged in. It's also got a battery inside of it as well with a fairly good battery life of a few hours I believe. And then finally you've got the on off switch which obviously controls the whole thing. Moving down to the bottom of it you've got a tripod thread so you can very easily mount this absolutely anywhere. And on the 2 watt version you'll see the grill to feed the air in because it's got, because this version has actually got a fan inside of it to keep the heat down. And then moving around to the front you'll actually see the door protecting the lasers and stopping any light from actually escaping the cube. Now the way I'm actually using the cube is I've got two of them behind a couple of my monitors here with clamp tripod adapter things mounting onto my monitor brackets. And they basically shine out of my monitor with a couple of visualizers on them making my entire studio look really nice. You can get them to make these cool looking visualizers like I have on the ceiling of my room here. Or you can make it really interesting and put a little bit of fog into the room and make it look like the sound is actually physically coming out of my computer which I think is a really nice effect. Now you might actually recognise some of these visualisers and that's because you've probably seen them before in my launchpad covers of Don't Give Up On Me and State Of Mind by Temanite. So to actually control the laser you need to download a piece of software called Laser OS which you can get from the Wicked Lasers site. I'll leave a link to that in the description for you as well as a place to actually pick up a laser cube for yourself. So in this software you can completely customise an abstract visualiser at the top menu here. You can create some more standardised visualisers with this menu. You can show off some dancing animations with this menu. Then you've got the section for Beam Show, which personally is actually one of my favourites. They tend to show slightly less exciting animations, but the whole point of them is they make the beams themselves look really interesting. There's some images that you can show. You can get it to show some oscilloscope music and actually project the oscilloscope readings onto the wall or ceiling or wherever you decide to point it. And you can actually play some games on here as well. You can play games that you might recognise such as Angry Lasers or Laser Bird or Galaga or anything like that. You can get it to show a clock which has got a few different styles on it as well. You can draw with it as well. You can draw absolutely anything you like. You can also get it to be MIDI reactive as well so just set your MIDI input in Laser OS and the laser show will actually react to any key or button you press on your keyboard or launchpad or anything like that. You can get it to show some text. Now this one you might recognise from my Don't Give Up On Me video. And the way this works is it uses a webcam and 13 dots on the wall and the camera can detect when those dots have been blocked. And when those dots have been blocked it sends a MIDI message out of the software and into your DAW so you can actually control instruments with it. It's also got a pop mode where you can shoot out balloons with the full power laser like this or you can even target a whole bunch of balloons and have it pop them all in sequence. So as you can see millions and millions of customization options there for the laser cube and all of that is available in this tiny little package and amazingly as well all of that stuff that I just showed you you can do on the Android version of laser OS as well. Sadly there's no iOS version yet, but the fact that it still exists on mobile is really really cool. Now another thing that I've actually got on my 2 watt laser cubes is the beam expander attachment, 
which is essentially a macro lens, but the way it actually works with the lasers is it expands the projection area by about nine times, which means that I can have the laser cubes completely hidden behind my monitors and still get amazingly wide access to projecting onto my ceiling for some amazing visuals. Speaking of attachments for the laser cube, there's tons and tons of lenses that you can get with this kit as well, including a focusing lens to help you burn stuff. There's some diffraction lenses as well, as well as a safety lens, and also some Lumia glass optics as well to make some really interesting projections. So there you go, that about covers everything you need to know about the laser cube 1 watt and the laser cube 2 watt. You can get a laser cube for yourself from the first link in the description, which will be laserOS.com. You can get them from prices starting just under 500 bucks, which I know seems quite steep, but at the same time I've seen some other laser projectors on the market and that is an absolute steal and I would highly recommend getting a laser cube for that kind of price. So there you go, those are my thoughts on the all new laser cube series. I'd actually love to see some of you guys pick one of these up as well and see what you can make with it. Thanks for watching everyone, stay safe.